So if you can put in a breast implant, you can put in a pec implant. It's through the same incision, right in between the pec major underneath the muscle, between the pec major and the pec minor. It goes in beautifully, it takes about 20 minutes, sew it up. But then when I started having the guys, well, you do pecs, I want to do my biceps. So then it went on to the shoulders. Now we do a triple play through the same incision. I go in, I open up my pocket for the pec, I let it rest. I slam an implant into the shoulder, I get one underneath the muscle in the bicep, and then I come back and put one in. So on both sides, we can put six implants in in about an hour and a half. And that is what all those patients who are ripped don't have a drop of fat. They're ripped. So these guys need to have some kind of muscular augmentation, and they don't have any fat to use for transfer. And the, the implants is a new wave because men didn't realize that they even existed. Five years ago, I started doing subfascial abdominal augmentation. They look beautiful because they move with your abs. It's got to be the right candidate, but I make a little incision, go right into that little pocket, that little ravioli pocket, make a little incision, put it right in front of the muscle underneath the fascia. So when the patient flex, moves like that, so the men, if your girlfriend, if your wife, if your sister, if your mom can have an implant to make her physique look better, well guess what? You can too.